Hi, and happy holidays from the MGD department. I know we didn't have an advisory board meeting this semester, so I wanted to send out an update about the MGD department this um, from this semester. We had a lot going on, even though we were real-time remote. We launched our design agency with eight students in the fall semester, and we worked for over a dozen clients, completing many projects. I've attached some of the examples of the works uh, that the students did. Um, and here's an example of one project that we did, which is a ribbon cutting um, for the new building on campus. And this is a postcard. And then we also did some just little ones that were handed out to get some attention for people to come to the ribbon cutting. <clears throat> so make sure you check out the examples of some of the student work. We did lots of things, um, email blasts, um, memes, logos, lots of stuff. So check that out. They did some great stuff. We also did a holiday card um, for the VP's office, um, which I've attached the link in this email as well. So you can um, check that out. So we also collected some student testimonials and client testimonials about the MGD program and the agency. And we're currently working on a student recruitment video for the MGD department. So once that's complete, I'll make sure to get that to you so you can you can look at it. <clears throat> for next semester, I have five students that are registered for the design agency. And because um, it's remote, I'm, I am gonna keep it a little smaller. Uh, there, It was a little difficult to try and um, find enough work for students since departments aren't on campus. Um, I think there's a lot less going on um, and need. Um, but since this was our first semester, there were a lot of things that we could do for the MGD department. Uh, so I am going to keep the design agency just a little smaller um, in the spring semester. Uh, instructors leaving. So this semester we have one instructor that's leaving and that's Brett Carr. He joined us this last semester um, to teach business for creatives. And although he enjoyed teaching, uh, the, the pandemic really affected his design business. So. Um, he is going back to work in the industry, so he won't be returning um, in the spring. We do have a couple new instructors. Um, we have Madeline Bechtel and David Janay. Madeline has a Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture and Design with a graph design focus from CSU. Uh, she also has several graph design certificates from Front Range Community College. Uh, Madeline held several design positions while in school, and she now works for the city of Fort Collins as a designer for about the last year. And she also has her own design business. So Madeline will be teaching graphic design too in the spring. David Janay taught for um, Front Range for two years, um, 2015 to 17. He has, um, he's an illustrator. Uh, he was an illustrator for a newspaper. Uh, graphic designer, motion graphic artist, and web design developer for a nationally known advertising, uh, advertising agency, and an adjunct instructor at several community colleges, as well as a business owner of Seven Sky, LLC, Lincoln Kayak Polo, Beloved Mountain. David will be teaching design and concept in the spring. We have five adjunct instructors that will um, be returning and we are borrowing two instructors from uh, Boulder campus. Our returning instructors are Sherry Dew, Stacy Heron, Daniel Ma, David Robertson, and Anne-Marie Jacobs. We have a partnership with Boulder County campus in many respects. Um, one is the portfolio review. I participated this semester in the portfolio review and Blake is always great about participating in things on our campus. In fall, um, this last semester, I also taught InDesign at Boulder Campus, and one instructor taught Gap Design one at Larimer Campus. So we're starting to share some instructor duties, um, which is a great experience for the students to have some change um, in instructors. In spring in 2021, um, Boulder Campus instructors will teach, um, two of the Boulder Campus instructors will teach at Larimer Campus, Blake Welch, will teach Business for Creatives and Eric Bolts will teach Graphic Design 1. So this is a great partnership with Boulder and we look forward to continuing to share our skills um, across campuses. We had 30 MGD honor designations this semester spread across eight of our classes. The entire campus had 31 total honor designations. So 
only one was outside of the MGD department. So wow, kudos to our driven MGD students. That's amazing. Our MGD social media account on Facebook and Instagram are going strong. I've been overseeing the posts, but they've been primarily run by front range um, student CC Sharstrom. So CC has one semester left at front range. So beginning fall 21, uh, we will choose one student to work under Stacy Heron um, as a directed study to learn about social media. So that's a new opportunity that we're gonna have for a student that uh, might be interested in learning about social media. And you can find us on social media at FRCC MGD Larimer. We, po we post student work um, as well as just kind of some random, like we did artist spotlights this semester. Um, we did like questions, um, trying to get some engagement with students, you know, what struggles did you have with real-time remote um, so pe other people can kind of chime in and um, help out so getting some conversations going we have some new documents um, also to assist uh, students and the advising department with making um, sure that students are taking the correct classes and they're able to map out classes to take for each semester because we don't offer every class fall and spring um, and I've attached those documents for your review um, as well it's kind of a snapshot of what we do offer the student art show. So we are planning the MGD student art show again this spring. Um, Stacy Heron will be heading the student show with the capstone students. I believe we have eight capstone students and then I'll be jumping in um, as needed uh, to help out as well. So we are planning it to be another virtual student show, probably a different kind, um, maybe not the same room with an avatar, but something a little bit different. Our enrollment at Larimer campus has been growing each year and we've grown from 30, 35, about 35 students to about 145 um, as of this last semester. So registration for spring is also looking great. Um, we are gonna be real-time remote with the expectation or with the exception of our video class, which will meet um, in person one day a week, half the class for the first hour and half the class for the second hour. Um, and that'll happen as long as the campus is open. We have several classes that are over the cap of 18 and we can do that since we're not limited to the seats um, in the classroom and we are running them on Zoom. So we have several classes that have 20, 23, 24 students. So our registration is great. Concurrent enrollment is going strong. We have two classes, Illustrator 1 and Photoshop 1 that are being offered at Poudre High School and I'll be teaching graphic design one um, at Colorado Early Colleges. Um, and at early at uh, CEC, that is gonna be wrapping up our two-year certificate that we were offering there. So um, we had uh, the fundamental certificate that we were offering, which is five classes over the course of two years. So spring will be the last semester. So those students that took all of those classes um, we'll um, finish with that fundamentals and multimedia certificate. We've been pretty consistent with six to 10 um, students in each of those classes at CEC, and we've even seen some of those students come over to the Front Range campus and take some classes as well. We are committed to continuing that partnership with CEC, and our hope is that um, Anne Marie Jacobs will be hired there um, after this semester once she's finished with her master's um, at CSU so that she can teach Spanish and the FRCC MGD courses. So we do hope that we can continue um, that partnership with um, CEC for concurrent enrollment. I don't have any updates on the Adobe certification testing site. C CEC is offering it um, at a cost. That's where I took it when I was teaching um, for InDesign and Illustrator. Um, but if our students go there to take the exam, we'll have to cover that cost or they'll have to pay for it. So I hope to continue research, researching funding for that opportunity for our, um, for our students. Stacy Heron was approved to teach an overload this semester, so um, it'll give me a break uh, from teaching as many classes. Um, and I'm talking about spring 21 semester, so the semester coming up. So I'll still be teaching five classes, four at Front Range and one at CEC, but that's my lightest load since my first semester here 
Um, so I really appreciate Stacy stepping up to help me out next semester so I can focus more on program planning um, and some of the other things that I um, would really like to bring to fruition. I began serving on the CTE Academy Committee this semester where I helped the HVAC program write their five-year plan and I'll continue to serve on that committee for um, about two years, at least the two years. This has been quite a semester and I'm happy to report students seem to be adjusting well to the real-time remote modality. Of course, we'll miss the energy of the classroom. We all miss that, but we're making the best of the situation. And kudos to all of our MGD instructors who are going above and beyond to find ways to help engage students um, and just get past the hurdles that they're having with that real-time remote. Uh, those are all the updates that I have, but I'll be sure to save a save the date early in the semester for our advisory board meeting in the fall. We'll plan on meeting at the beginning of May. Hope you um, will all be able to make it. Hope you had a great semester and you all have a great holiday and we'll chat soon. Thank you.